My grandson ran to the roller coaster line and stood with his back against the height requirement sign to see if he was big enough to ride. He squealed with joy when his head exceeded the bar. So much of life is about being big enough, isn't it? To move from car seat to seat belt and from the back seat to the front. To take a driver's test, to vote, to get married. Like my grandson, we can spend our lives longing to grow up. In New Testament times, children were loved but not highly valued in society until they became of age and contribute to the home and enter the synagogue with adult privileges. Jesus shattered the standards of his day by welcoming the impoverished, the diseased, and even children. Three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, tell of parents bringing little children to Jesus so that he might lay his hands on them and pray for them. Matthew 19, verse 13. Mark 10, verse 16. The disciples rebuked the adults for what they saw as inconvenience. At this, Jesus was indignant, Mark 10, 14, and opened his arms to the little ones. He elevated their value in his kingdom and challenged all to become like children themselves to embrace their vulnerability and need for Him in order to know Him. Luke 18, verse 17. It's our childlike need that makes us big enough to receive His love. How might you need to remain small in order to know God? What does His love, the love of a Heavenly Father, mean to you? Dear God, help me embrace my need for you today that you might drop me closer like a child to your heart.